are you making? Strawberry rhubarb. Strawberry rhubarb. Strawberry rhubarb. Oh, yeah. Wow. Do you think they're going American? Very American. Yes, we're trying to do some American. So my wife and I were actually running to look for Jeremy Fox's latest restaurant called Tallulah, which is, you see this building here? It's literally, the restaurant is across from this very, very stupidly placed and inconsiderate parking spot. And we obviously can get through it from here. But we found this little nice totem pole. Yeah, yeah, so we as you tell me it's near there. It's near because I didn't realize so. Freaking far. Yang near uh, didn't reach. Sorry. <laughs> Pissed off face. Pretty cloudy, not the greatest in terms of weather, but I'm feeling pretty good. I had a really good time talking to my guys back in Bangkok about the things we're doing, the vlog that's been going on, eight times that I've been posting it. Uh, an exercise of figuring out what I've been doing good and not so good, uh, and it's a lot of those. Exhaustion also came in and set in and I started to feel as if that it was a lot more work than I expected it was. I broke a promise to myself that I would keep doing it. Slack, excuses. The kind of times when you feel like you don't really want to do too much more because you know, give yourself a break, a cheat day, that sort of thing. You know, we've all been there, whether it comes to food, whether it comes to working out, and in this case, it was vlogging. So here's the deal. It's two days after Easter, and it's just like the, um, the way the story goes, it's a time of rebirth to do it again to get another chance to do it right and here I am. I have tons of footage that I've shot in other days and I and I want to show, share them because there were some interesting bits and pieces but more than anything I want to commit myself, recommit, I want to recommit myself to making this daily vlog happen. So I'm renaming my vlog into Kelvin's Daily No Excuses be able to do the things that we love, that we are passionate about, because it's about hard work, dedication, and no excuses. It is a vlog about my life, and the things that I do, the people I'm with, especially with my wife, and our adventures and journeys around the world, doing film production, as well as her as a chef. A little slice of what we do, who we are, and how we share our days together. The whole point is, to allow you guys to see that a lot of effort put, are put into the things that we want to achieve and through all that attitude we hope you're able to achieve the same thing as well whatever the dreams may be here's to calvin's daily no excuses Yeah, cooking show set up right here. Yeah, absolutely. Should be able, like you know, you didn't put the meat in the box, so if people aren't eating bread, they could have just gotten some of the meat and vegetable. If people aren't eating meat, they could have the bread and the salad and the vegetables. You know? and, and, and you, every you're feeding your family. You want, you know, your husband's allergic to nuts. You wouldn't make food with nuts in every dish because then you couldn't eat anything for dinner. That to me is what family meal is. I, I think too family meal everybody should have to sit together for 15 minutes, set the table.
21 and over guys. So I think it's a pretty good day um, having the fact that it's sort of a rebirth of my daily vlogging practices. It was a good time spending with Chef Evelyn and Chef Joel doing this private chefing experience. Uh, seeing how it's done really efficient, you know, within a couple hours. Somebody like a chef can really connect with people through the food and through the, the fact that this family is taking advantage of food being shared with the family on a dinner table. It's a concept of sitting together and having a meal, sharing the day, uh, what's happened and you know, checking on your kid. 30 minutes of just time together. It was a nice end to uh, obviously a uh, frustrating week for me previously. So here's to recharging, reigniting myself and rebirth of having daily vlog, of having daily no excuses. So peace out, West Side. Asia represented. In Thailand, we say Kap Mungka, and in Chinese, we call Xie Xie, and in Malay, we say Terima Kase, and of course, in Japanese, we say Arigato. To all the guys who are subscribing, and thank you for watching, we had quite a few hundred of you. It's really, really encouraging for us to see you guys just giving us a chance, watching us on what we do. I'm glad that our story has some compelling connection and will bring more of what we experience every day. We can share it with you from our journeys, from our travels, all over the world. I'll see you next vlog.